Welcome to Methodist Moments, a presentation of the Bahamas Conference of the Methodist Church. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. Good morning and a fabulous Friday to you. Hope you're ready for the weekend. It's been a long week. But here we are by the grace of God. God has been faithful in keeping us up to this point in time. And guess what? He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he has not brought us this far to leave us now. So I pray that as you journey throughout this day, that your hearts will continue to be filled with thanksgiving to God. That you would continue in that attitude of gratitude because gratitude unlocks the door to experiencing more of God and more of his blessings upon our lives. I'd like to close off our time of thinking about Thanksgiving with two prayers. The first prayer comes from the ancient document called the Didache, and it is a prayer of Thanksgiving, often uh, cited by our early church fathers. Let's pray. We give you thanks, Holy Father, for your holy name, which you have caused to dwell in our hearts. This is the ZNS Network, providing radio and high-definition television services for the entire Bahamas. ZNS Network is operated by the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas. It is located at Harcourt Rusty Bethel Drive, Centerville, Nassau. Our programming is designed to inform, educate, and entertain. We invite you to join us. The following is a preamble of the Constitution of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Whereas 481 years ago, the rediscovery of this family of islands, rocks and keys, heralded the rebirth of the new world. And whereas the people of this family of islands, recognizing that the preservation of their freedom will be guaranteed by a national commitment to self-discipline, industry, loyalty, unity, and an abiding respect for Christian values and the rule of law. Now, know we therefore, we the inheritors of and successors to this family of Allens, recognizing the supremacy of God and believing in the fundamental rights and freedoms of the individual, do hereby proclaim in solemn praise the establishment of a free and democratic sovereign nation founded on spiritual values and in which no man, woman, or child shall ever be slave or bondsman to anyone or their labor exploited or their lives frustrated by deprivation and do hereby provide by these articles for the indivisible unity and creation under God of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Friday, January 14th, 2022 and the morning edition is live. On today's show, the Prime Minister addresses the Bahamas business outlook. Two more COVID-19 deaths reported. The Defense Force looking to double its manpower. And residents in low-lying areas getting some much-needed relief. 
So let's start the morning off right and have some fun. edition is brought to you by We Buy You Sell Company, your leading hurricane impact windows, doors, and tile specialist. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to have some fun. It's a Friday, Kelsey. Fry, yay. Fry, yay, yay. And I know your, your weekend is going to be lit. Actually, I thought this morning would, would have been a little brighter, but you never went to John Bull yesterday, so I don't know what to say to you. Uh, you know, we had a lot of rain in the forecast, so... In the that, forecast? Yeah. It so was raining it yesterday, or? so I wasn't able to go out and do what I wanted um, to do. And but what area what do I you did. live in? Guess so, what I where, did? What area you live in? I live in this southern area in Pinewood? of New Providence. Yeah. In Pinewood? Okay, yeah. you have an excuse. I have an excuse. You don't have a boat to go out, <laughs> so I understand. But <laughs> well, let me tell you what I did yesterday. Mm -hmm. I went jogging, uh, worked out for a bit, and then I went to get some jujus. So the rain didn't hamper your this jogging, your juju, or anything? This is after anything. the rain, everything And what time the stores close again? Um, you're, you're different, different times, different locations. I never knew you were lost for words. <laughs> I never knew. But anyway, let me tell you about my experience. I, I don't want to hear about your experience. You have to hear about Where's this. my gift? <laughs> you promised me on national television that I was going to get a gift. Today. You got to get, you got to get your gift. You got to get your gift. When? But an interesting experience yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, I went to get some jujus. Jujus are in season. And you saw you like a jujus? wasp nest. Yes. Uh, look at look at that! Look at that! I was chasing some jujus, mm. sour them, sour. So where do you get the worst from? jujus I've tasted in from years? From your tree? No, really I, big, I, I got it from a street vendor. Oh, okay. I got it from a street vendor. Um, you should have just put hot sauce and ketchup on it. No, no ketchup. No, uh, I don't like hot that. sauce uh, and lime. No, just that. No, I'll put some. Oh, no, I don't like it. Are you like it with hot sauce and ketchup? Uh, I just thought you didn't pick up when I said ketchup because <laughs> you didn't give me my gift. So anything to mess up your mind. You're, no, you're not, you're not getting away from that as much as I tried to flip. Kelsey but you did tell me you were going away. to buy me breakfast this morning, so am I still getting the breakfast? We're going to have a $10 breakfast this morning. A what? A $10 breakfast. From where? I. What what po what can I possibly buy for ten dollars? And this for two? Yeah. Breakfast for two for ten dollars? Yeah, we talk about some good old days and talk about the weekend. And so what are you trying to? You get me sausage? Egg and sausage and egg grits and... or sausage? <laughs> <laughs> she is incredible, right? She is too much. I wanted for TV. an omelet, a meat lover's omelet. <laughs> can you afford that? <laughs> What are we gonna do with this young lady, Agatha, Rodney, the table members? Maybe you should pa pa pass a pan around uh -huh. and all those names you just call collect ten dollars from it, then I'll be able to get my breakfast. <laughs> Please. But the beautiful Kelsey Johnson. Yes. You are remarkable. Thank you so much. You are, you are a light tremendous. yourself. Yeah, you are light. Your light and love. Oh, thank you. Love. And I'm so glad to have you on. Oh this my side. gosh, your compliments will not, <laughs> will not make up for my gift. <laughs> but guys, we so have much. a great show this morning. A whole lot in the news. We, we're we're going to dance today mm -hmm. because uh -huh. you know it's Friday and okay. everyone should at least skull. And you told me you're from Cat Island, so uh -huh. you're going to have to show me how to mash the rope. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not going to do all of that. You have to raise up your pants and. I'm going to do, do something. But you sure catch I'll, the crap because that's surprise. Andros. I'll give some surprises to our audience uh, this you morning. You got to take off your jacket, loose your tie, because it's Friday. I'm not going to uh, tell them what I'm going to do just yet, but it's going to be a surprise. Can you dance? That's yeah. the thing. You yeah. sure? Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. I could. I know somebody who can dance, Lloyd Allen. He's been practicing some dance moves over the last several months, <laughs> and he's in the thick of things on the streets. I believe he's in Cable Beach. Yes, at the Go Slow Bank. Lloyd, can you dance? What's going on? Well, good morning, Desmond and Kelsey, and good morning, Bahamas. Of course, yes, I can dance, and I did not wear my tie today, and so, of course, I'm going to be having a great TTIF. But, of course, we're giving you your first look at traffic, uh, Bahamas. And this one coming in from the western New Providence area, known as the Go Slow Bend along uh, the West Bay Street Corridor. As you can see behind me, 
Uh, some serious uh, sea surf coming up here. These are some southeastern winds affecting the waters, causing a whole uh, heap of uh, confusion for drivers coming out of the western area. Many persons having to swerve as a result of these uh, sprays affecting areas like this and other parts of the coast. And so, of course, we want to advise motorists coming out this morning to be cautious for these uh, sea sprays that can affect your vehicles. It's definitely going to cause you to uh, cause some, um, or rather, uh, to clean your cars on Saturday, of course, is going to, uh, you, you want to uh, get rid of those salt um, uh, particles on your car, and that's building up. But of course, in other parts of the island, we do want to caution you that the light, the traffic light at the intersection of Shirley Street and Village Road has been down for a number of days. And so, of course, like this area, we want to advise you to approach that area and others with caution and with care. But Kelsey, of course, it's a Friday and many persons are enjoying their TGIF. And today, like none other, we're definitely giving you a first look. That's a first look at our traffic report. I am a little cold on the outside. How are you guys feeling there? Well, feeling warm, Kelsey. You uh, you had some a situation coming into work with yes, that. Yes, this morning, um, my entire car was drenched with salt water. So after coming the out of show, that same vicinity. Yes, after the show, you're gonna strip down into your work boots <laughs> and you're gonna wash my car, make sure that my exterior isn't damaged, my paint. Are you up for that for me today? At least that'll make up for the gift. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Kelsey, you put me in a, in a serious bind right there. But anyway. I promise you I won't record. <laughs> I promise you I won't allow them to see it. But we want to advise persons out there to be careful. You saw those incredible photos on the streets. The surface trough continues to track southeastward across the Bahamas. This is a weak, high-pressure bills behind all areas. Weather partly sunny, warm, breezy, isolated showers are possible. Thunderstorm along the trough becoming cool and mild tonight with an isolated shower. The daytime high, 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Overnight low, 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Here now, your extended forecast. Bahamas remains in the midst of a health and economic crisis from the ongoing COVID pandemic. Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis remains optimistic that the outlook is bright. His comments came during the 31st annual Bahamas Business Outlook. The nation's chief told the business community that his government is working assiduously to move the country beyond surviving the COVID pandemic and into economic growth. However, sparking innovative ways to grow and support sustainable businesses should be the collaborative effort of all. But what can you do to show investors and lenders that our Bahamas is a place where business is also conducted responsibly. I leave each of you to determine your answer. We must be willing not just to speak of change, but to boldly bring it about. There's no question that when people can better provide for themselves, they're likely to be more productive at work. They're more likely to use their earnings to drive the local economy. The latest stats from the Ministry of Health show more to COVID-19 related deaths. Both men from Grand Bahama ages 68 and 73 who passed away on December 25th and 27th. This pushes the COVID-19 death toll now to 719 with 37 deaths remaining under investigation. 178 new COVID infections have also been reported. 46 in New Providence, 24 in Grand Bahama, 4 in Abaco, 3 in Exuma, and 1 in Eleuthera. 14 of the newly infected have a travel history within the past 14 days. 98 of the new cases are women. Hospitalizations stand at 119, with 7 in the intensive care unit. Defense Force Commodore Dr. Raymond King has confirmed that the investigation into the death of leading seaman Rodney Adderley is complete. He made the announcement at the weekly press briefing at the office of the Prime Minister on Thursday. The police would have compiled the evidence. The coroner would have visited the scene. And the file is being prepped to be presented to the coroner. The Royal Bahamas Defense Force is looking to double its manpower from 1,500 to 3,000 over the next five years as it decentralizes its operation. This as the Defense Force takes note of new trends. Of late, the traditional modes of travel are being abandoned for what traffickers consider less obvious. They're now using American sailing vessels. 
to conceal their movements, as opposed to the traditional Haitian sailing sloops. The traditional Haitian sailing vessels are now being equipped with outboard engines to quicken their transit northbound into the Bahamas. And additionally, what we're experiencing now is we have multiple vessels leaving from multiple ports in Haiti with multiple destinations in mind. They would move along the whole Bahama Channel, give you the impression that they're heading towards the United States of America. And once they reach South of Andrews, and then they return not bound. We're looking to decentralize properly in Inagua, Ragged Island. We're looking at a central base. Now that the movements are shift eastbound, um, establishing the base in Elutra, we're looking to establish in Exuma, um, as well as Andrews and Abaco. And wherever we have those bases established, they must be properly manned, equipped, and personal trained to fill those billets. Minister of National Security, the Honorable Wayne Monroe, says there is need for more body cams for the Royal Bahamas Police Force. While he couldn't provide a cost for the cameras should government proceed with the purchases, the National Security Minister says it will depend on resources to expand body cam acquisitions. There's a body cam too that was demoed for me that permits the commander to view the body cam footage live in the field. I know it is technology that is at cost, basically. But it is useful because once, once triggered, activated, you can't edit the footage at all. And the individual officer can't edit it. And the base doesn't have editability without you knowing. Opposition Free Nation Movement leader Michael Pinterd applauding the diligent work of officials at the Bahamas Chamber of Commerce and Employees Confederation Thursday during an official courtesy call of the Chamber's Shilly Street headquarters. Pintard said that by having this meeting, he hopes to also chart a progressive way forward alongside the government. We, in a very mature way, a measured way, will be collaborating with the government. So as we work with the chamber, we are recommending some things to them. They, as well, are, are trying to get a sense from us what is the strategic plan we have going forward. So we believe there are a number of areas where we, we would be able to collaborate with each other. and mobile services provided by Cable Bahamas Business Solutions helps our customers help their customers adapt to the new way of paying for things. Digital wallets makes your transactions faster, more convenient, and secure. Whether it's using a debit card at the grocery store or making online payments for your monthly expenses, digital wallets powered by Cable Bahamas Business Solutions makes it better. For more information on our fixed and mobile services, contact the experts at 601-8911 in Nassau or 602-8811 in the Family Islands. us again. Well, relief on the way for Pinewood Gardens residents. As you know, we're in the rainy season and some relief is on the way for Pinewood Garden residents. Take a look. I was a resident of, of Pinewood in the mid-80s, um, so I know firsthand what it is to take off my shoes and ball up my pants and walk through Shigapa Street from the Bay Geranium side. It's an issue that hits close to home for Pinewood Member of Parliament, Miles LaRota. I didn't want the car that I was hiking a ride in before I had my car to send ripples into people's home. Um, sugar apple, um, some parts of rosewood, cottonwood, jacaranda, sapodilla. You have individuals who have taken carpet out of their homes because every time there's a flooding situation, water's in the house, and so tile is much more resilient than carpet. There's also a lot of mold from the sheetrock, those homes that have those. And so it's a problem that has been around. And during the campaign, I would have had this discussion with the then leader of the opposition, now the prime minister, that we need to bring an end to this vexing problem. Minister LaRota now fueling his efforts, hoping to fix a problem that has plagued the Pinewood Gardens community for decades. 
for the vast majority of these individuals, their home represents their largest investment. And so if those homes are going to maintain their value or even increase in value, the flooding situation have to be addressed. And so I've, I've got a commitment from the now Prime Minister that within this term, hopefully sooner than later, I will be agitating uh, for the flooding situation to be addressed. As rain dominates the local forecast, Bahamians can expect some temporary relief. I'm also meeting with um, Mr. Buru. A lot of people know him from Fix It Enterprise, along with some others. Uh, the stewards from through Rosewood with the view of cleaning those uh, drains that have not been done in a while. Um, you know, when you're pe uh, spending public funds, you have to be frugal and you also have to be transparent. And so I've collected um, numerous uh, estimates and quotes to do one one-time cleaning and what the cost will be to, to maintain those to minimize the effects of flooding. As, as, as much as possible. The MP says this issue remains a priority for the Davis administration and residents can expect some hope and help in the coming weeks. So a great sit down there with the Honorable Miles LaRota, mm -hmm. uh, Member of Parliament for uh, Pinewood Gardens, the, an area as well as my constituency. That's great news for you. Great news. Uh, it's a Your problem neighbors. that's been around in that area for quite some time, and so I'm happy to see that uh, there's going to be some relief. Now, successive governments have tried to alleviate mm -hmm. that situation and resolve that situation, but um, as promised by Mr. LaRota, there's some relief on the way. So, some very good news. Um, and he's saying that uh, millions of dollars going to be allocated for this particular project and effort. So uh, we're just keeping our fingers crossed. As a resident of that area, what do you think is needed to ensure that, you know, th the problem is fixed? Well, um, as you're aware, Kelsey, that is a flat area by itself. It's a very flat area. Uh, it's going to take a lot of engineering. It's going to take a lot of work. Uh, the drainage systems are messed up, so I, I, he promised that the government is going to look at uh, um, cleaning up the drainage system, and it's going to call for everybody, the community, to come together to develop some kind of actionable plan uh, to, to, to resolve this situation. It's, it's systemic, it's a very, very serious issue, and it's not going to take a month uh, to fix. It's, it's, I agree. Yeah, it, it's, it, it's, it's an interesting, well, complex situation. Well, I know, situation. for one, anytime it rains, Pinewood is always on top of the meme board. Mm, yes. So we always yeah. say, carry a boat in Pinewood. But what is so Do you own a boat? Say again? Do you own a no, boat? No, I don't own a boat. Maybe you should invest since you're a Pinewood Garden <laughs> resident. <laughs> I know, I know, but uh, Kelsey, we are Brazilian people. And I agree. My amazing. dad lives in Pinewood, yeah, so, so I will knock, and I know a lot of yeah. persons who live there. And a number of us have combined our resources, gotten together, and so the community spirit is, is still alive and well in that in that constituency. Minister which is a positive is thing. an honorable man, and I hope he keeps his word. Yes. Especially for you. Yes, thank you. Thank you very <laughs> much. As we head to the break, we take a look back at today in Bahamian history. On January 14, 1977, the College of the Bahamas officially opened its doors. Also on this day in 2004, wide receiver Gerard Darling announced that he would enter the NFL draft for going his senior year at Washington State. Andres is the number one born fishing destination on our planet. Sports fishermen visit our flats every year to participate in one of the most fulfilling outdoor activities known to man, fly fishing. And guess what? It's 100% sustainable. Without areas like the west side of Andres, sustaining this industry would be absolutely impossible. So let's take care of nature, and nature will take care of us. New year, new time. Watch Conversations with Christ every Sunday at 10 a.m. And I'll tell you why. Because God said a thousand years is like a day for me. And that's why you could have a thief on the cross pray for just a few seconds and get forever 
and get forgiveness and get eternity. So every single Sunday for 30 minutes, we're going to praise God together. So every Sunday at 10 a.m., Conversations with Christ. Welcome back. Coach Alette Matthew McQuinn and the Ole Miss Running Rebels women's basketball team got back on track last night with an 86-56 blow win at home over the Alabama Crimson Tide. The bounce back win came after a loss to the fifth ranked team in the country on Sunday. I'm just grateful to get back on the winning track. You know, we uh, took one in the chin versus Tennessee and that really... Uh, got us to look at some things that we needed to look at. Um, I, there was no panic in our locker room. Uh, you know, that was only our second loss, and, and we, we forgot what that, that sting uh, felt like. I thought our team really locked in on the defensive game plan. Um, you know, last year playing teams like Arkansas has really helped us in teams like Alabama, who I thought... We're, we're doing well, getting real close, uh, and we did not want them to figure things out against us on our home court. Hey, long time no see. You hear me? Long time no see. Boiled fish, stew fish, stew cone. I love it all. Tourists come here to take our tours, experience our sun, sand, and sea, and they also spend money around town. I used to see a bunch of hogfish around here, but nowadays, I hardly see any. You protect one area, the fish do their thing, make a bunch of babies that spread all over the sea. What's the problem? If we protect certain parts of our sea, it keeps all parts working right. I was against that phrase, but knowing what I know now, I totally agree having marine protected areas. I support marine protected areas. We support marine protected areas. Look for Bahamas Protected on Facebook. Sign the petition. Sign the petition. <laughs> is a year of positional manifestation. My God, <laughs> I, my I God. just said something. A year of positional. Now, I know you may, may have never heard that before. It means, my brothers and sisters, if you are positioned, you are ready for the manifestation. God is going to reveal himself in the lives of people who know their God. Sundays at 8.30 a.m. on ZNS TV 13. As an artist, I travel all over the world, and I find inspiration all around me. And the people, and especially the environment. I love the Bahamas with all its natural beauty. From Mabaco in the north to Inagua in the south, and all the wonderful and colorful islands in between. But we must all do our part to keep the Bahamas healthy and clean, now and for the future generations. That's why I want you to find a little time to do your part. I'm doing my part because I care. Do you? Is, you know, we're continuing to remember the legacy of global icons to Sidney Poitier, yes. and he is a film icon, and a number of his films are being aired on ZNS this week. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know any of them? I know a few of them. Um, I can't remember much. <laughs> Lilies of the Field. I'm thinking in you, the Heat of the Night. In the Heat of the Night. To Start with Love. Raisin in the Sun. And the one that was banned was what? I don't remember. No Way Out, I believe. No Way Out. Oh, wow. That's the one that was banned. But in any event, let's look at those movie clips and see how, see how good, good you are, Kelsey. Uh, All right, let's see, how those, let's, see. let's see those clips and uh, see which one that we can actually. Let's go for the first clip. No Way Out. I believe we have that one. To the left of that big tree. Then it follows a creek. You Kelsey, can you guess which... No Way Out. Stay with us spell? No, I think it no, is. No, it's not No Way Out. No Way Out, no? Mm, in the Heat of the Night? In the Heat of the Night? Uh, no. Buck and the Preacher. Never wow. heard of that one before. Never. Uh, let's see the next one. 
I'm pleased to meet you, Mrs. Drake. To serve with love. love. <laughs> I thought that. To serve with everybody. love, for sure, for this sure. Everybody should to serve with love, yes. This clip. To serve with love. This is the love. famous one. That's not the answer? That's not it? Guess who's oh, coming to dinner? Oh, wow. I didn't even remember that. Oh, we're so horrible. Yes. Oh. Uh, all right, let's check out the next clip. The roving ex-GI who carried his home on four wheels. Got the scoot. He has sent to me a big, strong man. He didn't say anything to me by sending me any place. Um, the least on the field. The field. <laughs> the least them. on the field. I don't know them. Oh, wow. Do we have another clip? Is this going to be the last yeah, one? I'll send you the report so, on this. This is definitely in the heat of the night. Not that it'll make any I, I think we're going to end this one with a bang. I'll take that. In the heat of the night. Oh, they wow. They call Mr. Who? They call me Mr. They Tibbs. They call me Mr. Mr. Tibbs. Tibbs. Wow. All right, we're going to take one more. Oh, gosh. I'm glad. Da, 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 I'm glad da, we're past da, the BGCSE da, da. phase. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been, it's been fun. Yes. But uh, it's so interesting, you know, he, he died. He's, he died at 94, great old age, 94. His impact has been tremendous. And he's from Kett Island. And he's from Kett Island. I'm a Kett Island I'm, native. And you keep saying you're a Kett Islander, but you don't know any songs from Kett Island. I, I, do, you, I do, I do. Do you know how to make flower, flower cake? I Is can't. That, yeah, I can make flour. I can make flour cake. You sure? <laughs> I can't yeah, trust see, I'm you. I'm not going to allow to embarrass me on national television. You uh, said I you're know from... some things about uh, my Kid Island experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know the song in the background? Let me see. You're doing like an American dance. If you can't do American dance, the Ray can scream. <laughs> Desmond, is that how you dance, Drake and Scrape? <laughs> I'm sure the Cat Islanders... No, the Cat Islanders are not liking this today. I, I, I want to see your moves. No, you're from Cat Island. I'm from Exuma. No, I know, you only know how to cook peas and rice in Exuma. Practice, no, you, you have to show the people. I want to see your moves. You're supposed Let's to, like, go. raise your pants. Going to Cat Island. Desmond. Join the Rick oh, my gosh. You don't even have no footwork. <laughs> Oh, my baby, oh, Desmond. Is that it? I want to see your moves. I don't Let have any moves. moves. I'm from Exuma. We don't, we don't do you that. Do we have beauty queens in Exuma. But look, rip it up. Let's hear some music. <laughs> Let's hear some music. Lloyd, come show me your moves. <laughs> Desmond, Stop see, sh show me that master me road. That's it, that's Tired it. Mm -hmm. going round and round. Oh, now you can dance. <laughs> you got some competition on the stage. Now you can do it. See, you ain't from Cat Island, man. They know how to do that. It's really a great show. 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 Had a lot of fun today. Yes. And I'm still waiting on my gift from you and breakfast. And breakfast. We're going to do both. Gonna, I've got to get you a gift. And, yeah. National TV, breakfast. you heard this. All right. It's been great having you with us. It's been a lot of fun, Kelsey, as I said. And uh, you're going to be with us next week? Yes. That's good. Are you going to be with us next week? Yes. With Definitely. my gifts? Yes. Okay. I promise. Thank you. Stay tuned to the ZNS Network for updates on the hour, every hour, right here. The Bahamas Tonight begins at 7 o'clock and the Northern Edition at 6.30. Have a good Friday and a safe weekend. Take care. Tired of going round and round. I've played the game of love and lost. You shot the world and left me off. Let me off. So tired of going round and round. Stop the world and let me off. You're watching the ZNS Network.
the people station. Twenty twenty marked a turning point in the lives of many. The COVID nineteen pandemic reshaped operations worldwide. In the sphere of education, it may have reshaped delivery, but work towards fulfilling the mission continued. This was definitely the case here at the Aaron Gilmore School for the Blind. We're going to take a look for the next few minutes into the world of staff and students here at this school. Established April 15, 1949, the Aaron Gilmore School for the Blind has for decades acted as a place of solace and active learning for students who are visually challenged. Currently, 13 students are enrolled at the school with 80% of them totally blind, while the other 20% experience low vision. Principal Nataki Beckford takes us back to March 2020 at the onset of COVID-19. In the beginning, the greatest challenge was how are we going to get across the same um, way we taught face to face? How are we going to do that virtually, that effective teaching? And so the first thing that happened is we got together with our partners, Salvation Army, of course, the Ministry of Education. And so we had to make sure that we had the capabilities to pull off the virtual. And so the Ministry of Education came in, they told 